I said we talked to you once the results were clear. I didn't think it would be so quickly. Uh, but let me get your initial reaction to the results tonight that Scott Brown has beaten Martha Coakley in Massachusetts for the United States Senate. Well, first I should uh, congratulate Scott Brown, uh, Senator Brown. Uh, you know, he may make the process better. I think we would have been better off if we'd only had 59 senators to start with, and that's what we've got now. Uh, but, uh, you know, Martha is a great public servant. I think it's too bad that she didn't get this seat. She's a serious candidate, a serious person. Uh, I assume she gets to go on and become, continue to be uh, attorney general for a while longer. Um, let me just say, you know, there are going to be a million theories about where this happened, and, and, and as they say in Washington, those who say don't know, and those who know don't say. I don't think anybody knows right now. I do know uh, that I, I agree with Chris that people are trying to send a message. I think the message has more to do with, uh, with wanting real change, wanting real reform. I also think um, that the, the, the we're going to have to not have a circular firing squad. The message that I think, and the, the antidote that I'd give is we've got to be tougher. I've said that Democrats haven't been tough enough. Uh, George Bush would have had the health care bill done a long time ago and it would have gone through reconciliation, would have been what we wanted. And I don't want to harp on the health care bill all night. Uh, the fact of the matter is, though, most people in Massachusetts like their health care system. Uh, it's expensive, uh, but it covers 97% of the people. We know that from polling information. So I don't think this was a backlash against the fact that we needed health care reform. I think it was a backlash against Washington. And, you, uh, it, and I think the, the Democrats happen to be in the way. The Republicans are always much better at messaging in opposition than we are. The problem is they can't govern when they win. Uh, and so the Democrats, if we want to be, if we want to govern right, we're going to have a message. We're going to have to show decisiveness. We're going to have to show boldness. Uh, we're going to have to show toughness. And we're going to have to show leadership. And leadership is not uh, trying to be a centrist and get everybody to work together because it's not going to happen. The Republicans wanted to kill this bill from the beginning, uh, the health care bill, simply to embarrass the president. Uh, the pre president was elected to lead. Uh, and the way we're going to get through this is he's going to lead. We're not going to deal with the special interests or the Republicans anymore. It will become their own special interest. We're going to get this stuff done. And when you get it done right, which means not letting it hang out over two more election cycles, 2010 and 2012, but getting some people insured uh, within a few months of the president's signing of that bill, well, then we're going to have something uh, to show for it. We're going to recover in 2010. But this is an example of what can happen uh, if, you don't, if you aren't real clear about your message. Scott Brown was real clear about his message tonight. Governor Dean, in terms of the Democrats' opportunity to do the kind of thing you are describing, obviously the first thing they've got to make a decision about is how to proceed on health reform. Were 60 votes in the Senate key to getting health reform passed? Do you see a path to health reform now by the State of the Union by February uh, that doesn't include having a 60th Democratic senator? There's only two ways you can do this. One is to get the Senate to pass the House bill and then fix it later. Uh, and I, I think you're going to have a hard time with that because the Senate bill is not that strong a bill uh, because of the intervention of Senator Lieberman and Senator Nelson. Uh, and the other thing is to start over again and just add uh, Medicare, add 55-year-olds and up to Medicare, which is what the Senate was thinking about doing in the first place. There's a big advantage if you do that. You don't get universal insurance uh, and you don't get insurance reform, but frankly, the Senate bill has very little real insurance reform in it anyway. Uh, what you do do is get people insured right away who don't have insurance now and who can't get it because they're over 55. So I think that, that kind of approach is the approach that I would use. Get it done, have it easy to understand, expansion of Medicare is very easy to understand. You can run it through reconciliation pretty quickly. You don't have any choice because uh, if you're going to get anything done on health care from now on in the Senate, it's going to be through reconciliation. Governor Dean, thank you very much.